Hey everyone, in this video, we'll be solving this problem from ITJE 1990. So in this problem, we are given a, a rolled up carpet in the form of a cylinder. It is placed on the ground and it's given a slight push. Okay, so it starts unrolling. And after a while, initially its radius was given to be R. After a while, its radius becomes halved. And it's given that the bottommost or the basically the carpet is not sliding with the ground, which means the velocity of this point is zero. Or we can say, in other words, it's the cylinder in this case is pure rolling. So as the condition for pure rolling, as we, are, we know the velocity at this point is zero. Uh, so which is a linear combination of V and R by two omega, where omega and V are the angular velocity and the velocity of the center respectively. So we can write this, right? V equal to R by two omega because the cylinder is pure rolling. So that would be our equation number one. Now, second key factor in this question is the mass of this cylinder is decreasing because the carpet is being unrolled, right? So initially, let's say the mass was M. So we can write the mass M as the density times the volume. As this is the cylinder, the volume for it would be pi R squared L. Finally, the radius becomes R by two. So if we want to find the new mass, it would be density rho times the new volume, which actually comes out to be one fourth of the original volume. So the new mass is M by four. So the mass of this cylinder would be one fourth of the original one. So now, as we know, the cylinder is performing pure rolling motion. The friction here is static. And we know this work done by static friction would be zero. The only, only in the case of kinetic friction will there be heat losses. Static friction does no work. So we can consider the work done by static friction to be zero, which means we can conserve the energy in this case. So, and so applying the basic conservation of mechanical energy principle, we can say that decrease in potential energy of the cylinder would be equal to increase in kinetic energy of the carpet. So what is the decrease in potential energy? So initially the center was at a height of R by two, uh, I mean R from the ground and its mass was M. And finally the mass is one fourth and the height is R by two from the ground. So the decrease in potential energy would be MGR, initial potential energy, minus the final one would be M by four times G times R by two. So this is the decrease in potential energy. And that would be in equal to the increase in kinetic energy. Now, as the object is undergoing pure rolling motion, we can write the kinetic energy of this rigid body as half uh, I about the instantaneous axis of rotation. And in this case, it will be this line passing through the contact point. And so yeah, half I about the instantaneous axis of rotation times the omega squared. This would be the kinetic energy of this body. Now, how do we find the I about instantaneous axis of rotation? We are going to be using the parallel axis theorem. So I about instantaneous axis of rotation would be I about the center of mass plus the mass of the cylinder times the distance from the center square. So, and what is the I about CM? That would be the mass M R squared by two, right? Plus M by four times R by two squared. It's a solid cylinder, right? So the I of the center of mass about the center of mass would be M R squared by two. Solving this, you will get the answer as three by 32 M R squared. So I just substituted it all directly and write the value of Omega as V divided by R by two. And that's it. After solving, you'll get the value of the velocity of the center. So if you enjoyed the video, please like and share, like and subscribe and thanks for watching guys.